going to do my makeup while we talk about alcohol in your hair products. People hear the word alcohol when they are thinking of hair products and they immediately think, don't use that product, it's bad for your hair. They think cheap products, they think it's going to make your hair dry. If you've been here long enough, you know that a lot of these things aren't always true and I'm going to give you the actual truth. It's topics like this is why I always say it is so, so important to have your own understanding of hair products, of hair ingredients, to know what you are and are not looking for in your hair products, and not just go by the crazy claims on beauty blogs or random social media influencers. You need to know if that person knows what they're talking about. It's really easy to sound like you know what you're talking about, but it's really good to have your own understanding so you can take all that information and kind of dissect it yourself. I'll just take a minute to remind everyone that I do have some ebooks that go over the basics of hairstyling, of basic hair care, and of understanding your hair ingredients so that you can best pick products for yourself. But I am also here to give you this information through YouTube as I can, but if you want to have one of those resources, I will add the link to those resources in the comments and you can have that to refer to at any time. And it is not me telling you what to buy, it is me teaching you how to know what to buy. This is really important to understand that not all alcohol is actually bad for your hair. In fact, some types of alcohol are good for your hair. Not all alcohol dries out your hair. Some alcohol actually will help you hydrate your hair. This is what gets really confusing for people because they've always thought of alcohol as something to avoid and something that causes dryness, but that is not alcohol, all alcohol, that is short chain alcohols. Short chain alcohols are what you're going to find in your hairsprays, your gels, you might find them in some shampoos. Short chain alcohols are really good at helping products to evaporate off of your hair, which is why you'd want it in something like a gel or a hairspray because you want them to dry really quickly. They can also help your hair absorb more products. Um, and they also act as a preservative. They're an inexpensive preservative, which is why you might see them in some more inexpensive products more often. Because they help things dry quickly, they also will dry out your hair a bit. So they can cause a bit of dryness to the hair. So if you are someone that struggles with dryness in your hair, then you probably wanna stay away from short chain alcohols. Adversely, if you're someone with really oily hair and you're buying volumizing products, a lot of times these volumizing products are going to have alcohol in them because that is going to help the oils and whatnot evaporate off of your hair. A lot of dry shampoos have alcohol, a lot of volumizing mousses might have a short chain alcohol. So that is something that you'll have to consider if you're someone with really a lot of problems with volume, but also really dry, brittle hair. It's not to say that you can't use something with a short chain alcohol if you have dry hair, but you're going to have to be very careful to balance it with enough moisture on the drier parts of your hair, which is probably the ends of your hair. If you have curly hair that is naturally really dry, frizzy hair, or hair that is super, super damaged and brittle, you probably want to just avoid short chain alcohols in your products altogether. Short chain alcohols are going to appear on your ingredients list as words like ethanol, isopropyl alcohol, dentured alcohol, and SD alcohol. If you ever see one that you don't know and you're not familiar with it, simply type that ingredient into Google and the word hair products, so SD40 alcohol in hair products, and it will tell you what it is. The other type of alcohols that we have are our fatty alcohols, and these alcohols actually help to hydrate your hair. They help to smooth your hair, detangle, make it look and feel really soft also a great emulsifier so they will help oils and water to mix allowing all those hydrating ingredients in your hair products actually get into your hair not causing the oils in your hair products to be propelled by the water on your hair the reason you want these alcohols in your hair products is because they're going to help your hair to retain moisture and to feel really soft and luxurious the way that these ingredients will show up on the ingredients list, sterile alcohol and satyral alcohol. And again, if you're not sure which type of alcohol you're seeing on your list, 
then just Google it because Google has the answers usually. The people who are really gonna want fatty alcohols in their products are people with really dry hair, curly hair, super porous hair, damaged hair, bleached hair, things like that. As you can tell, not all alcohol is bad and even the bad alcohol is sometimes something that you want in your products because it's not necessarily bad, it's just bad under the wrong circumstances. A quick tip for when you're checking the ingredients on your products is to look at the first five ingredients. If the alcohol is showing up in the first five ingredients, it is a prominent ingredient in a higher concentration and that's when you're going to want to really consider how it's being used in your product and if it's right for your hair. That goes for any product you see on that list. If it's higher up on the list, that is an ingredient that is in high concentration in that product. If you see a short chain alcohol near the bottom of the list of ingredients, especially if it's a really long list of ingredients, then it's probably just in there as a preservative and it's not likely to actually cause any problems for your hair at all. If you have really dry hair, damaged hair, once again, a safe bet is just to avoid the short chain alcohols and stick with the fatty alcohols. And if you do use anything that has short chain alcohols like hairspray, gels, things like that, and just make sure that you are following up with plenty of hydration. Hopefully that gives you some insight into another slightly controversial and misunderstood ingredient. Let me know in the comments if there's any other ingredients you would like me to break down. Don't forget to check out my ebooks if you feel like you need some reliable resources to refer back to you when you forget all this information. Like and subscribe because you know that helps me out. Share this video with anyone that you think would find it helpful. And I will see you next time at DIY Hair School. Bye.